Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for joining me on The Angry Truth channel. So today's video, we're gonna talk about the global pushback. Now, the global pushback sounds exactly what that sounds like. People around the world are pushing back against the vaccine, the mandates, or the vaccine passports, right? So this is going on around the world. And though here in the United States, you're not gonna hear much about it unless you look on uh, outside news sources like uh, BBC or RT News and things like that, or even in some cases, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, you'll see a lot of the protesting and a lot of the pushbacks against all of these uh, dictatorship style rules or mandates that are coming down throughout the world. Now, these are the countries that are protesting throughout the world. Italy, Netherlands, Switzerland, Amsterdam, Israel, France, Luxembourg, Greece, Romania, Slovenia, Germany, Australia, United Kingdom, and New York City. These are the places that are pushing back, that are seeing the protests and or riots. A lot of, some of these places are turning into riots. Some of these places are having their protests turn into riots, sorry. And other places are just trying to keep it as civil as they can, which is good on both sides. I wholeheartedly agree with, for example, Australians fighting back the way they are. Though they are probably, you know, up Shit's Creek without a paddle, at least in certain places in Australia, they are fighting back. They are handing the cops their asses. I applaud that. The other side of that coin is there are other places where they are being as civil as they can. Because I think everybody's trying to be as civil as they can for as long as they can before it turns into something uh, a lot of people don't want it to turn into, but unfortunately, it's going to have to. Now, why are these countries protesting? Like I said before, they're protesting because of either the vaccine, the mandates, or the vaccine passports. Now, the vaccine passports seem to be the bigger concern with a lot of these countries, more than the vaccine. And the mandates that are coming down are another problem that these countries are having an issue with because they're just not wanting to subscribe to the dictatorship-style uh, settings that these countries are trying to implement or the leaderships in these countries are trying to implement on their citizens. So in Italy, they're protesting against the vaccine passports. Their version of the vaccine passport is called the Green Pass. And the Green Pass allows them to be vaccinated, tested weekly, or have COVID, with, COVID antibodies within six months. They're fighting that passport because now it was open to everyone in the country as opposed to just workers. So now it doesn't matter where you work, where you eat, you need to be vaccinated and or have a weekly test or have COVID in the last six months. And then you have to do it all over again if you're not uh, vaccinated. So if you're not vaccinated, you gotta get tested weekly. And if not, you gotta get tested for your antibodies every six months. So right now it's just six months. And after that, you either have to get tested weekly or take the vaccine. But nonetheless, they're fighting uh, against that because who the hell wants to walk around the streets showing your papers? This sounds awfully like another country we, uh, we all read about in the history books. The Netherlands, they were also another country, which again, guys, quiet country, fighting or protesting over the fact that they wanted to change the indoor dining uh, regulations. So outdoor dining regulations, sorry. So what they were going to do is they were going to have you get a vaccine passport or test to eat outdoors. So the restaurant owners were like, fuck no. And then the people were like, no. And they started protesting and they had the Netherlands government put that on hold. As of right now, they actually canceled it. So they did 80, 60 idea, but they were protesting against it and they actually got their voices heard. And the Netherlands government was like, all right, we're gonna shelf that for now. And not for nothing, but the Netherlands numbers are fairly low as well. So again, why were you just trying to switch gears or switch the game when the numbers were dropping off? Makes no sense. Switzerland. They want their citizens to have the COVID certification. So it's not a passport, which is on the phone. It's a legitimate certification that if I'm not mistaken, you carry a paper around saying that you either had COVID or you were vaccinated. I don't think they're allowing the testing option. And that's for you to go to work and go to eat somewhere. So a lot of these places overseas are also implementing this to go to work, like Italy. You had to be tested weekly, vaccinated, or had COVID in six months to go to work. And they mandated that for all jobs across. And Italy, to this day, is still protesting against that. 
Again, guys, with all these protests, you're not going to hear about it unless you actually Google it yourself. And I would rather for you guys use DuckDuckGo. You're going to see way more with DuckDuckGo than you are Google. Amsterdam is protesting. Israel is another one. If I didn't mention that, Israel is another one that's protesting as well. Now, Amsterdam, back to them, they're just protesting the entire mandates as well. Uh, the mandate orders that they had come down, they weren't a big fan of, obviously, for the obvious reasons. Same thing with their, same thing with everybody else, the uh, COVID passport, and they protested against that. Israel has a more interesting uh, reason, has a more interesting reason to protest. Israel is protesting against the third shot that they are being mandated to take. So now keep this in mind, guys. Majority of Israelis got vaccinated. They got their one, two shot. The government, Israeli government, wants them now, or not wants them, is mandating them to take their third shot. If they do not take their third shot, their vaccine passport gets uh, deactivated. So now their vaccine passport is deactivated because they didn't take the third shot. Israelis said, this is enough. We didn't want to take the first two. We're not taking the third. And they're protesting as well. But they're keeping that under wraps. Because, again, look it up. You will see it for yourself. France and Luxembourg are both protesting pretty much for the same reasons, like everyone else. They're not up for this whole mandate and the COVID passport. Luxembourg, uh, they changed the rules on them a little bit. They said that they couldn't take the in-home testing anymore as proof of not having COVID, that they had to run out and get a professional test done so that they can go out and enjoy the amenities of life, right? Which is, again, bullshit. But the problem with changing that game, instead of doing the in-home testing to changing the in-home testing to professional testing is that now they're going to jack up the prices on the professional testing which is then going to force them to do what take the shot or just not go out and do anything but if i'm not mistaken luxembourg they also implemented that for their work so they can't do the in-home testing which is way cheaper so now they're going to have these people come out of pocket for uh professional testing and they're going to raise the prices so that forces them to to take the shot now, again, Greece, Romania, Slovenia, Germany, all protesting for the same reason, vaccine passport, and the mandates have gotten a little worse in all three of those countries. Again, it's, all, it's pretty much the same for a lot of the countries, uh, with the exception of Australia, which turned into a giant island prison, right? So for those of you that remember Escape from New York or uh, Escape from LA with Kurt Russell, that's Australia right now. It's that bad over there. Cops are... First of all, cops in Australia need their asses handed to them. Bottom line. That's one. Two, they are running around checking people who don't have their mask on. And if you don't have your mask on and you have a cup in your hand, they're grabbing the cup out of your hand, which I saw a video of, grabbing the cup out of your hand to check to see if there's a drink in it. So that be, for the reason of you having your mask down. Well, why do you have your mask on? Well, I'm drinking my coffee. They, they, they take the coffee cup and they shake it to make sure there's liquid in it. And so that's the one reason that you can walk around with your mask down. Other than that, they're forcing you to keep your mask up no matter where you're walking in Australia. That is mind-boggling why people aren't beating the shit out of the cops. Forget about protesting now. That's out of the window. The cops are being the aggressor. So guess what the citizens of Australia need to do? Hand them their fucking asses. That's a different story. I'm not in that country, so I, I can't speak too much on what they should be doing, even though we all know what they should be doing. But nonetheless, guys, uh, Australia is in a bad fucking spot. Now, one place in the United States is doing a lot of protesting. New York City, the liberal, the second liberal capital of America. New York City is super liberal, second to California. And in New York City, or rather Los Angeles, sorry. And in New York City, we are protesting damn near every day. And every Sundays, there's big ones downtown. And they're getting bigger and bigger. But you know what's going to make them double in size? The fact that Eric Adam, the next New York City mayor, though the election hasn't happened yet, but his numbers are so high, there's no way uh, Curtis Silva, 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 Wolf, there's no way he can win. Zero. So Eric Adams is the next uh, mayor of New York City. He has already said he wants to mandate kids to get the shot. He already said that before he even stepped foot in office. So you thought that these protests were big now, they're going to get exponentially big because there are a lot of people, even though they took the shot themselves, they don't want their kids taking it. So he's going to see the biggest pushback a city in America has ever seen. Now, here's the rub, guys. How the fuck can all these countries be wrong? 
right? How can all these countries who are protesting against the mandates and the vaccine passports, how can they all be wrong? How can all citizens around the world think alike and go, this doesn't make sense. This is dictatorship at its finest. We don't like it and we're gonna protest. How is that even possible that if everyone's saying the same thing and the governments are not listening, that tells you that the government has an ulterior motive. Because if they're not turning around and going, all right, well, you know what? They're not happy with this. And because we work for them, we should pull back. But instead, it's the other way around. They're like, well, fuck that. We're in charge of your health and we're gonna tell you what we want you to do. And you're gonna listen, i.e. Australia. Every other country is fighting back and pushing back and they're not having it. So if they're not having it, why don't the world elites go, you know what, not the world elites, but why don't the politicians go, okay, maybe we should, we should stop this. They're not stopping it because like I said before, ulterior motive. They're following a different guidebook. They have to be. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can like and subscribe to The Angry Prepper channel. You can also follow me, The Angry Lensman channel. The Angry Lensman channel has been delayed another couple of weeks. I have a few videos, but I don't have an intro. A stupid reason not to release videos, but I don't have an intro, so that's going to be delayed for a little bit. But other than that, guys, you can also listen to me on podcast as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching.